Well, hello and welcome to a special edition of the City Update. I'm your host, Mark Aaron, Multimedia Design Manager for the City of Danville. Joining me now is Jason Buchheimer, who's with Parks and Recreation. And of course, Parks and Recreation has teamed up with the Youth Council here in our community for a very special project. Of course, Jason's going to talk a little bit more about the Youth Council. This started about, what, has it been over a year now since the Youth Council was formed, Jason? It's right at a year, Mark. Yeah. Uh, it was actually uh, last April when first discussions kind of came up. And then we actually met before the kids got out of school last Last May and had our first inaugural meeting and, and went over the scope of the project and what all was going on. And uh, it's changed a lot since the original sure. scope, but it's changed for the good. Well, let's, before we uh, dive into more information about this particular project, let's talk about the Youth Council. I was so impressed when I met with you all in that first meeting. It was kids from Galileo and George Washington High School, and you all kind of had a brainstorming session about what can this council do here in our community to, to make an impact. And uh, I think you were quite impressed as well when you first met with these children. Yeah, you know, Mark, it's, uh, the group of students who came together for this project are just phenomenal. Um, they really, uh, it's mind-blowing some of the concepts and uh, how progressive thinking some of the kids are about the community. Um, you know, a lot of times youth can get wrapped up in their daily lives because they've got so much going on in school and colleges. Um, but the uh, ideas and discussions we've had um, and the things that have come out that we've sent on to council members and to yeah. people in the community to say, hey, here's what the youth's saying, uh, it's really remarkable. And you all have reported back to City Council at a couple of meetings and, and really uh, giving them some uh, thoughtful ideas from a youth perspective on some, some major issues that are facing our community today. It is, Mark. Uh, we, we know we were sent reports, and, um, and, and along those lines, we've had topics that range from you know, diversity with the Danville United Coalition yeah. uh, to what they'd like to see brought downtown, what mm -hmm. shops, what things. Um, and a lot of the interesting things is, you know, is we, we focus a lot on local stuff. Uh, the, right. the group's really focused on things we have here and enhancing what we have. Yeah. Um, and uh, as you know, we'll talk about later, that's what the project's all about. Yeah. So. And uh, it's great to hear uh, these students. We're going to hear from a lot of them on today's show today. They're, some of them are graduating. And they're going off to college to some very impressive schools they've gotten accepted to. But the goal of this is for them to maybe come back to our community once they graduate and be some very productive members of our society because uh, they're going to some pretty impressive schools. I've heard the list of, uh, from some of the students on where they've been accepted so far. I think one's waiting to hear back from Yale, I think is what I heard. So uh, it's, it's great to uh, see that happening here in our community. And we're going to talk to them on today's show a lot about uh, what they plan to do in their future uh, when it comes to the next couple of years after graduation. But Jason, let's talk a little bit about uh, these wonderful uh, photography uh, photos that are here behind us. Uh, this project uh, got started what, it was about six, eight months ago mm -hmm. um, in one of these uh, spearheaded by the Youth Council, one of these uh, idea sessions that you all had. Tell me about uh, how this all got started with this transformative photography project. Well, to, to be honest, Mark, it actually, you know, one of those, another one of the community partners that, that uh, are very important to us in the community, uh, Dan River Partnership for Healthy Communities. Uh, we were actually at a meeting for that, um, and it came up that one of the uh, doctors from Virginia Tech's research team that's on that committee, um, they said, hey, we've got to hook you up with another um, uh, group back home, you know, at Virginia Tech that does this marketing and research. And there's this kind of an international study that's going on about using photography to in institute change and to get your opinions across right. um, because it's very easy to say, let's paint the wall blue. Uh, but then when you see a picture, you paint the wall the same color yeah. versus me painting it baby blue and you paint dark blue or whatever. Right. Um, so the idea came about and we presented it to the kids and they were, they were really gung-ho about it. Um, and, the, and the goal of this is that the exhibit will be traveling. Mm -hmm. um, so each month it will have a different home around town and hopefully that through the pictures and the descriptions people would be able to implement and introduce some change in the community so like you talked about you know and after after they're gone from college you know these are a lot of the things they're looking to either let's keep let's enhance or let's change about the community and this is what we want yeah um, so a lot of the pictures um, you know it's not it's not an exhibit about the best pictures that are in Danville or anything right. it's about the meetings behind them um, and each 
each photo accompanies a description as well with it. Great. And what we're going to do on today's show is every picture that's going to be on the traveling exhibit, we're going to have the student that took that picture uh, talk to us on camera about that picture. So you'll get a, an in-depth look behind the photography that will be on display. So we hope that you'll come out when this exhibit travels around the city. Where is it going to be? Obviously, the library will be the first location, but you're going to be traveling to around to a, quite a few businesses in different places across the city. It is, and we haven't mapped them all out yet. Yeah. We don't have them all, all lined up. But, um, you know, we're going to have it. The library is the initial one. I mean, the kids have actually mapped out a lot of the places they yeah. like to see it. So from different places, from City Hall uh, to uh, organizations like Boys and Girls Club, the YMCA, um, a lot of those public places and spaces that people really get a lot of interaction and can see. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we'll hopefully do some public stuff, too, out, you know, in a park one day or something. And, yeah. and um, you know, the kids have even expressed interest, uh, you know, hey, when we're back on break, you know, next Christmas or something. And some of the students actually aren't graduating. Right. So it'll so be nice to have them uh, yeah, coming okay. back next year and, and the year after. So um, we've got we've got a good a good history coming up. Well, there's some great pictures that are on display and uh, looking forward to talking to the students so they can share uh, their moments behind the image, I guess we'll say. But first off, we'll talk to some representatives from Virginia Tech. Obviously, they partnered with you all and they'll tell us a little bit more about how they learned to take the picture because they got some lessons, didn't they, on how, how to operate the camera and some things like that? They did. Uh, Mark, you you know, and, and to be honest, we couldn't have done this without our partners. You know, the DRPHC and Virginia Tech, uh, hum humongous, you know, partnership in this, and, and they provided a huge piece of the pie. Right. And like you said, they had one of their professional photographers come down and teach them about, you know, capturing pictures and what, you know, some things to help them out. Yeah. And then also, um, you know, a lot about of it was the their research um, staff came down and they were able to take the kids through debriefing and really pull out the meanings behind the pictures. And, you know, a lot of our times were spent like, hey, here's what we're talking about. Um, you know, let's let's take some pictures about this topic, and we come back and have some pretty in-depth discussions. I think you'll be impressed when you walk around Very and talk good. to the kids later on. Cool. Well, Jason, I appreciate you taking the time to join us today, and and thank Parks and Rec for taking uh, the bull by the horns, I guess we'll say, with this idea of a youth council that came down from City Council, and of course Parks and Rec spearheading that effort. And we look forward to more great things from the youth council here in the community. We do too, Mark. You know, anything we can get involved with that meets our mission, we're always willing to help. Right. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. Well, joining me now is Ramin Alexander, who's with Virginia Tech, and of course, Virginia Tech spearheading this uh, project here with our youngsters in the community. Ramin, uh, thank you for taking the time to join us today. Thank you. Uh, tell me a little bit about how this photography project got started with the Youth Council here in Danville. So with the photography project got started with the Youth Council in Danville, we were interested in doing something with the youth to kind of represent and get their to get their view on Danville a lot of times you don't get to hear the youth's perspective mm -hmm. so we partnered with the um, Danville City Youth Council and they developed the theme of picture Danville to represent the diversity in places and spaces and the positivity that Danville has to offer. Well, I know you're working with a great group of young people I actually set in on the first youth council meeting that we had here in the community as uh, some bright students but tell me who did they work with to learn how to produce such great photography work? So Justin Sotal Jackson, he's an undergraduate student at Virginia Tech, and he was the one who actually came up with us to give the, give the students a training on photography. Okay, great. Tell me a little bit about that training. Was that a one-day training? What did, what did the students kind of learn during that training? Oh, they learned a variety of um, aspects of actually just working the camera, um, using the camera, the different different areas or different features on the camera that uh, I think the everyday person might overlook. Mm -hmm. He really took the time to go through go through those concepts with the youth. Okay, very. So now, once they learned the concepts, what was their next step in this process of producing these great photographs? Their next step was to go out into the community and use these concepts that they learned to take these pictures. Okay, very good. Now, tell me about some of the pictures that we're taking. And I see they all have narratives uh, along with the picture. Okay. Some were in a school setting. Obviously, some capture some of the great um, architecture that we have here in historic Danville. Tell me about the pictures that are on display here behind me. So all of these pictures, they represent the positivity that Danville has to offer from the youth's eyes. They say a lot of times they hear a variety of things about Danville, and they really wanted to go in and capture what they love about their city. Mm -hmm. And so all of these pictures represent something that the youth love about, their, about Danville. Right. Now tell me about Virginia Tech's involvement. How does Virginia Tech tie into this project and working with the Youth Council? Do you all w work with other organizations here? Tell me about that. Yeah, so Virginia Tech, we're a part of 
of the Dan River Partnership for a Healthy Community, okay. and that's the coalition here in Danville, and we really focus on incorporating nutrition and physical activity into the community. In Parks and Recs, they're one of our partners on this, right. um, on the Dan River Partnership for a Healthy Community, and we worked with Parks and Recs to work with the youth, and that's how okay, it all, right. that's how Virginia Tech yeah, got involved. Uh, as we talked to Jason earlier, uh, City Councilman Alonzo Jones really spearheaded getting a youth council together mm -hmm. here in the community, and of course, Parks and Rec, it falls under Parks and Rec. Jason Bookheimer, who we talked to earlier, he heads that up. So, well, great to see the Hokies involved here in Danville. I know you all have done some other projects as well. So give me uh, your take on how well this project uh, came out. I think this project came out great. It was really in really positive and really enriching just to hear the youth's voice. A lot of times we don't get to hear what they have to say and to, for them to express themselves through photography, I think that was a, a different medium that they were able to Very use. Good. So um, obviously you're, you're in Blacksburg, you're a graduate student in Blacksburg, so you're not as familiar with Danville. Do you think that you know Danville a little better now that uh, you've seen some of their work? I do. Um, working with the youth, not just looking at their pictures, but their personalities, um, engaging with Jason. I, I learn something new about Danville every time Great. I come. So is this something that will grow in, in this partnership and working uh, for some other projects with the Youth Council maybe? Yes, that's what we're hoping. This will kind of be that spearhead for other projects, and that's what we're looking forward to for next year. Ms. Alexander, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Congratulations on, on the project. It looks like it's going to be great. And as Jason mentioned, these pictures are going to be displayed all around the community for the upcoming months. So our citizens will have the opportunity to see the great work that the Youth Council did. And without you all's help, it wouldn't have been impossible. So thank you all so much. Thank you. My name is Nicholas Perdon. I am a senior at Galileo Magnet High School. Um, this is the photo I took for our project. Um, in it, uh, some of our friends and I went to Averett University and helped to volunteer uh, for Martin Luther King Jr. Day for the volunteer initiative. And uh, I took this photo while we were making cards for um, some children in the hospital. And uh, what we were doing, we were just designing them, trying to make them feel happy as they um, go through their uh, recovery programs. Um, and to me, I, I titled it A Generation Involved because it, I felt like it, it's a good representation of how the kids in Danville are taking the initiative to help and uh, do good work for the community. My name is Sydney Glass and I attend Galileo Magnet High School and I am a senior there and I took this photo um, one day I was walking downtown and it captured my eye because of the really bright and vibrant colors. Um, I think that there are a lot of buildings that are left abandoned. You can see that someone cares because the building's abandoned, but the paint's really bright and fresh. And I just think that the community should pay more attention to buildings downtown that could be upkept and used for something even greater in the future. And this is my other picture, and there was a group of young guys skateboarding. And I really like this picture because you can see his smiley face and they were just using an abandoned building and making use of what they had so it shows that the abandoned buildings and things that people wouldn't look at they actually have a purpose in our community. Um, I'm Bhavika Patel, I go to Galileo Magnet High School. This picture is just um, capturing the moment. My, my friends were all laughing about something crazily and it just it was a great picture because they were letting loose and they were all together and the best part is that's when we are like free to express ourselves and when we're together with our friends. So we have a lot of fun together. <laughs> and this is my other picture. Uh, this was just all of my friends were together and we were expressing ourselves differently. We were having fun in different ways, wearing different shoes, wearing different socks, and not, none of them were quite the same. So that was the best part is that we had diversity within. I'm Sarah Adcock from Galileo Magna High School and um, I took this picture here at the library this winter when we had uh, obviously lots of snow and as I was walking up I noticed somebody had put a scarf and a hat and, on the statues and it really sort of summed up what I think the library is about and it's sort of fostering creativity in the community and it really gives kids a good background here in Danville. And my other picture I took downtown at the new Globe Theater. Um, I thought it was a good contrast of the old and the new. Um, a lot of people here in Danville who grew up have a lot of fond memories downtown and we're really restoring it so that this generation can have fond memories as well. 
My name is Anthony Amala and I go to George Washington High School. I took this picture because I pass this house almost every day and it looks like it has a great story to tell and it's old and kind of beaten down and but yeah I just thought it had a great story to tell because you didn't pay you don't pay much attention to it because it's just one of the old houses. Um my name is Marty Jones. I go to George Washington High School and I took this picture about the old 97 to remember our city. Um, Danville is a small city and people really don't recognize it, this picture, but when you ride past it, um, it's a, our Danville is a unique city and it's, it's great to be a part of it. Hi, my name is La Precious Williams. I go to George Washington High School and this picture is about something that stood tall and didn't disintegrate like others around it and how you can see the history that lies within the barn. My name is Amber Pearson. I attend Galilea Magnet High School. And my photo basically touches on the point that we had about diversity. And in my opinion, this is kind of the new vision of diversity. Um, at one point in time, having friends outside of your race or even relationships just wasn't accepted. And I guess this is just really important to me because when I look at all of my friends, we all come from different backgrounds and races. And I think it definitely represents the new vision of diversity. Um, okay, I'm Christine Carmen from Galileo Magnet High School. Uh, this photo was taken on the Riverwalk. It's under one of um, Danville's bridges. Um, to me, this photo represents kind of like the foundation of Danville, like as um, as it's the foundation for the bridge. It's also, you know, the river was an important part in Danville's history. Um, you can also see the wear and tear in the bridge, which is also kind of like the character of Danville and its history. Um, and it kind of just focuses on the river and how it was the center of many important things in Danville's history. Okay, this photo was taken outside of Danville's community market. Um, it's focused on the fence post. Um, you can see the layers of paint in it. Um, to me, that's sort of symbolic of the layers of history in Danville. And uh, also you can see that the focus um, is kind of unusual. It's on the fence post instead of like the street in the background. And um, I think this is kind of symbolic of the different perspectives people have of Danville um, and about how they should focus more on the details instead of just the big picture.